The Council of the Isles of Scilly is working towards being net zero carbon by 2030. We've already switched to renewable energy for the majority of our sites and installed solar panels on our corporate and social housing. And we've supported local businesses to do the same through our business energy efficiency scheme. We have plans to continue to reduce our carbon emissions by decarbonizing our estate and removing our reliance on fossil fuels further. We want to lead by example in protecting the islands for future generations. But we can't do this without the support of our community. The following are examples of the pioneering and innovative work already happening on the islands. Work which we hope will inspire us all to do more. It's actually really simple. Uh, we literally only have one planet. If we don't start sorting things out now, then that is going to be it. Living on a small island as we do, we're going to see more adverse weather, um, which is going to make everything more difficult for all of us. We have a crisp packet recycling system. We have moved away from using cling film to wrap our cheese when we give cheese out to customers. We've just launched a brand new milk refill system this week. We also have solar panels that provide most of our hot water. Um, we use a green energy supplier and we often try and stock as much product as we can do in glass so we're using less plastic um, and then we try and use as many local suppliers as we possibly can do. We need the government to put more pressure on big companies like Unilever, Coca-Cola, Mars, Cadbury's, um, Johnson & Johnson, all of the big household names to actually start making more changes to how they're packaging. We've got solar PVs, solar hot water. We try and reduce our chemical input on the farm. We try to not use many pesticides, herbicides or chemical fertilisers. Looking at the minute at increasing our um, composting capacity by taking green waste from other businesses and households um, and using that to increase our soil carbon. Water usage is a big issue. So we're trying to increase our rainwater capacity at the minute and actually all of us are able to do small things whether it's a move to plastic free packaging or looking at installing alternative sustainable energy sources. We get a lot of comments from customers appreciating the fact that our packaging is plastic free and so it is appreciated and recognised and that really helps encourage you to do more. From a business point of view, we're organic growers. We have um, solar panels, so the amount of energy that we produce is about equivalent to the amount we use per year. Yeah, our groundwater uh, supplies are threatened by the predicted rise in sea level, and we're finding it increasingly difficult to grow food crops. For the farm, we um, collect rainwater. Um, we have about 100 cubic metres of storage and even with our rainwater catchment we would be having severe problems if we lost any of our additional groundwater. We've changed to electric vans for our cottage department. We've changed to electric buses, which you'll see whizzing around everywhere. Every new project that we build has sustainable and renewable energy embedded into the project. We make them super insulated. We make them as green as we possibly can before we even build them. We try and purchase as locally as we can. We are very careful about what we buy and how it's packaged. We have cut our amount of plastic as an island to less than 12 tonnes a year. And we do that by not having plastic bottles in the shop, only having glass. What we need to be is an island which lives by its assertions, which means that everything that we do has to be about sustainability and it has to be about the long-term future. We can't manage everybody else's impacts, but we can manage ours. I make um, jewellery, so I'm always looking on the beach, doing beach um, cleanups, um, and yeah, making sort of sculpture and art out of the bits that I find. There's a lot of plastic that gets washed up from, you know, who knows where. Well, I reuse everything, so things like plastic bags, uh, paper bags, bubble wrap. I'm always using things like cardboard boxes for wrapping up and stuff, so I'm always kind of reusing everything. Because we are destroying the planet with all our rubbish and, you know, throwing things away that, you know, we shouldn't be.